Well, Joe, we talk about it pretty much every time we're on the desk. LU basketball is the place to be if you want to go and just watch some basketball. Mm -hmm. And both teams had a great night. Absolutely. Both the men's and women's basketball team, they did sit at a record of 1-2 and two before their matchup on Saturday against the York Lions. And on the women's side, they were on the hunt for consecutive wins, while the men needed a bounce-back performance after Friday's overtime loss. Here are Saturday's highlights from the Thunderdome. Friday night, the women's basketball team captured their first win of the season as they beat the York Lions 61-53, where Kerpa Brar, coming off the bench, was shooting the lights out of the Thunderdome. <laughs> On Saturday, head coach Hugo Boyver and his squad made their adjustments and out-rebounded the Lions and got help on the scoring side from October Athlete of the Month, Ali Burke. Hey, man. Oh. Burke had 22 points leading the way for the T-Wolves and Lakehead wins their second straight, 68-62 to the final. I mean, we just try to move the, mall, uh, the ball as much as possible and that'll get me opportunities. Um, it's important to play as a team and not, as long as we get good shots, then it's good shots, whether it's me or Kerbal or Paula going off, we just want to get good shots. Yeah. Uh, she was very aggressive. They were, they were giving her some shots that we feel very comfortable with her taking. Uh, so they seem they seem comfortable with her taking those shots, and we were just laying, telling her to let it fly. I don't think she shot the ball particularly well uh, on two days. Although she had a, a very good game today, I thought she could have scored a lot more today and yesterday with the kind of looks that she was getting. Now that the ladies are on a two-game winning streak, the men's team are in need of a bounce-back performance after falling to the Lions in overtime on Friday. On Saturday, the offense was stale for both teams through three quarters, but in the fourth, the Sagal brothers stepped it up a few notches. Tyler Sagal step back, it's good. Then Chris Sagal finds Tyler and his three is good. And check out this pass from Chris. Pump fake, half spin, the no look pass to Harold Santa Cruz. Chris had 12 assists in this one while Tyler led the way with 20 points. Shot four from nine from beyond the arc. The Thunderwolves exploded with 35 points in the fourth quarter and get back to 500 with an 87 to 72 win over York. Well, I think we, go kind of as Chris goes sometimes. He plays with such energy and pace and conviction and belief in what he does that you, you have to trust him. Um, and he's really grown into that role where he's a leader. If he's talking, everybody kind of rallies around him. Uh, I mean, every day I put the work in, but uh, you know, I'm just thankful that my teammates trust me with the ball. You know, my coach Thompson, he, he, he expects me to make them. And uh, you know, I just went out there and did my thing. The Thunderwolves are in Ottawa next weekend, but return to the Thunderdome November 24th and 25th to battle the Western Mustangs and Windsor Lancers.